Hello everybody, we are back with Pastor Derek to continue this week with all of you. And um, what I want to ask Pastor Derek right now is, uh, what do you think God is doing with the church worldwide? Do you think no, there, are some th there is a change that is going on? Mm. And what do you think the church of tomorrow will look like? Mm. I absolutely think there's been a major change, a major shift. Uh, it was some years back you began to hear this buzzword, kingdom. Everybody was talking kingdom. And I think God was shifting the priority of the church. Uh, why? I think he didn't just wake up one day and, and say, you know, I need to change the priority of my church. I think we're in the last days. Uh, we're talking about the unfolding of his eternal plan. We're talking about the plan of the ages coming to pass. And we've seen different moves of God throughout history, you know, faith movement or the Holy Spirit being introduced to the world. We've seen all different moves, but now we're seeing the totality of it coming all together with this, the kingdom of God being established on earth. Why? I believe we're in the last days. And I believe uh, your church and your own life are a first fruits of what the new standard will be for God's church. I think God takes a leader uh, does something unusual with them, takes a church as a model, lifts them up beyond where, you know, the status quo. Why? Not to just make them the elite or they're better than anybody. So that the body of Christ can look at you and look at your life and your church as the new model, the standard that God is requiring. I think he's raised up your church for such a time as this. The last day's church I see to be a church that is intimate with their God, in love with Jesus, but more than that, they're a spiritual strategic church. They are wise in their function. They're thinking about nations. They're thinking about societal transformation. They are fulfilling the prayer of Jesus, which was, you know, your kingdom come on earth as it is in heaven. And I believe we are going to see another, you know, term of this before the return of Christ. I think we're living in exceptional days the greatest thing pastors could do is, you know, as Moses said to Pharaoh, let your people go, let my people go. I, I think the greatest thing pastors could do is shift the priority from come hear me speak to let me serve you, let me equip you, and send you out for society to be redeemed. So uh, uh, how can pastors do that? Mm. Well, I think it takes, for the first while, a whole lot of death on the carpet in prayer to exchange uh, certain mindsets, traditional mindsets, belief systems for God's heart again. To really grasp the way Jesus sees his church, the way Jesus sees nations. He died for nations. We need a restructuring of that through prayer and fasting, but also uh, to take advantage of even a move of God like this. Come, experience what's happening here. Uh, speak with Pastor Sunday, get the material, and really become students again. Not too many senior pastors have mentors. We've kind of lost that, that concept. And I think the greatest thing pastors could do is become as children again. Wow. And realize that, yes, you have your degree on the wall, but maybe God is doing something beyond what you learned in Bible college 20 years brilliant, ago. Brilliant, brilliant. Tap into what the Spirit of God is saying to the churches. Become a student of God, become a lover of God to such a degree that he becomes your friend and is able to tell you his secrets and then you activate that revelation in the earth and you will be a kingdom carrier. Uh, wonderful. Well, thank you so very much, our friends. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm sure you've enjoyed this season with myself and Pastor Derek. And uh, we'll have Pastor Derek at the end of this week. So we'll see you tomorrow. God bless. Mm -hmm.